Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Like it, like it, love it. After learning that Hell's Kitchen would be hosting the 160th anniversary celebration for the Phi Mu sorority. They're always so damn happy. The chefs were challenged to create a Southern-inspired tasting menu, <laughs> while Mississippi native Keisha was a natural to lead the red team. All up in there. Drain that oil off of them. The men turned to native Texan Gabriel to lead them to victory. We're going to do the blackened catfish with grits. Gabriel, lead us through this. It was by far the closest challenge yet. I would have to go with the blue team. The red team. The red team. But the women prevailed and were very happy winners while the men were devastated, especially Ralph, who was a very sore loser. I hope it tastes just like the red team. Oh, oh my goodness. Then, at the fine new anniversary dinner. Ready, take it now. Thanks to Anton and Gabriel, the men came out of the gate strong. Hey, we're in a row now, guys. Bam, 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 bam. But hit a major speed bump. No, no. Roll chicken, start the table again. With Jason's ongoing struggles with the fried chicken. It's still raw. In the red kitchen. Bev was completely overwhelmed on garnish. One vegetarian, yes? What's a vegetarian? It's a uh, mac and cheese. We need to get this thing back yeah. on. What is the, what is the sector? Until Rochelle stepped in and came to her rescue. Now Rochelle is driving the section, and Bev just stepped back. No, I'm not, chef. But when Jessica abandoned her station partner, Keisha, on fried chicken. It's still wrong. What is going on? I'm by myself on the fucking chicken. Keisha and the red team had a full-scale meltdown. I'm thinking on something I know how to do. And a dinner service loss. There was no sisterhood in the red team. Keisha's emotional plea. You left me that panicking. No! Won her teammates over, and they nominated Jessica for elimination, along with Bev. And in the end... Bev, give me your jacket. It was Bev who saw her dream of becoming a head chef at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant and winning a quarter of a million dollars come to an end. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Tonight was a fucking embarrassment. Now piss off, all of you. But clearly there is a deeper rooted issue going on that people aren't discussing with me. I just felt entirely fucked over. God, uh, as the weakest person, you pick me, like, like. Sometimes I'm like, you don't want to work as a team. It's like all about you. I don't understand. I didn't even know Jessica was that emotional. If everybody's telling you you're fucking up, then you need to stop and look at yourself and be like, am I fucking up? Yes, I am. Nobody wants to put anybody up, but it's about listening sometimes, and it's about the bounce back. That was it for me. That's it. It's the same issue every service. You space out. You on Earth, you on Mars. Like, come back. We put the right two up. I gotta put on a bulletproof vest because I don't know where the shots are gonna be fired. I don't know who's gonna be trying to throw me underneath the bus. This is how I feel about her. Everybody here got a story. But she's like, you know, I was homeless. Uh, I was homeless about a year ago and I've taken steps to uh, come here and live my dream. All right, she played that card, but guess what? I was too. Chef don't know that. He don't need to know that. All he need to know is that I'm here right now and I got past that point, you know what I'm saying? I'm never going to go up there and give a sob story to Chef. I slept on steps. I've slept in parks. I've slept in shelters. i slept in places I shouldn't have slept. I'm just tired of the fucking excuses, you know what I'm saying? Here we come. 
Let's go. Good morning. Morning, Chef. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Jessica, how are you feeling? I'm ready to redeem myself. I'm ready to bring some energy to that, Chef. Now, since you arrived in Hell's Kitchen, I'm looking to test your ability to adapt. That is what today's challenge is all about. As you can see, there are four domes in front of you. You'll find under the first dome six proteins. The minute you see that light go off, grab the protein that you want to work with. Every few minutes, another dome's light will go on. You'll run and grab the appropriate size, starch, garnish, whatever you think is going to enhance your protein. You've all got 30 minutes to cook one stunning entree. You are all on your own today. Yes, it is a team challenge, but you have to adapt and shine as individuals. Everybody ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Go. In today's challenge, the chefs must create their dishes using one ingredient from each of the four domes. I'll do this. A new dome will be revealed every five minutes, and the chefs will be forced to adapt and create their dishes on the fly. OK. There's chaos. I went with my first instinct, swordfish. I've worked with swordfish so many times. I got this. Let's go, guys. Somebody took more than something, because I have nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, Chef. What the hell is that? Chef Scott's like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know the difference between a duck breast and a chicken breast. As Gabriel starts on the chicken, Scott decided not to use. In the red kitchen, Rochelle. It's going to be hilarious. Is learning firsthand how to deal with a cuddly crustacean. I don't know how to do this. Oh, thanks, everybody. Give me the living protein that I have to kill. Please don't go off the table. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't mention I've never cooked this before. I'm so sorry, little fella. Oh, I don't think I could work on a farm in real life. I can't kill things before I eat them. I think that works. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With five minutes gone, the chefs hurry to grab a starch that best complements their protein. Oh, my, come on now. And while Sandra is very aggressive fighting for the potatoes. Ralph, get in there. Ralph mysteriously takes a laid back approach. What is this, couscous? I don't need a rush up there before I can push people. Whatever's there left, I took it. Watch your back, Ralph. I know I'm talented. I can cook anything. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Casey, what have you got as a start? I got the finger potato. Sandra, what have you got? Potatoes. Both can't use the same ingredients. Hurry up. Decide amongst you. I have these potatoes first. Hurry here. up. Sorry. That's Sandra. She's a troublemaker. Both can't use potatoes. Yeah, chef. Changing. And the last thing there, the egg noodles. To me, it was kind of boring. I didn't even get a thank you. It's all right. I'll adapt. For the third dome, the chefs must scramble to make sure they get the vegetable that works in harmony with their protein and their starch. Scott, what have you got? I got, I got fennel, chef. The dish I put together is a seared duck breast and some baby fennel with fingerling potatoes. So I put basic ingredients that work together as fast as possible. Mm. Jessica and Sandra, what have you got? And dive. You've both taken on dives. Come on, ladies. Please let me use it, Jessica. I have, like, the oddest shit. Look at each other and decide. Liar. I swear to God, I knew that I grabbed that first. She's out of her mind. Both of you, you're wasting valuable time. Well, I mean, I don't know who got it first. It was probably her, but I don't care. I needed it, and I'll do whatever it takes to win at this point. Fucking hurry up. You're wasting valuable right, time. I I'll, I'll take you, the Jessica. fucking beats. Come on, ladies, let's go. Fuck you. Jessica was like, fuck you. When she walked by me, I almost punched in the face. Breathe. Don't panic. Slow down. Ladies, listen for that bell, please. Whoa. With only five minutes left in the challenge. Last ingredients. The final dome reveals six wild card ingredients, including tangerines, chorizo, baby parsnips, pistachios, olives, and white cheddar, which the chefs must incorporate into their dishes. What is this, chorizo? Yeah. The curveball came when I got to the chorizo. At that point, my sauce was done, my lobster was done. It was a little hard incorporating it into the dish. You got stock over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody got something, yes? Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. Joy. Tangerine, chef. Melody. Baby parsnips. Good. Last two minutes. Start giving your dish some finesse. Start thinking about it on the plate. Yes, chef. Get it 
Get up there. Right behind you. 15 seconds to go. Oh, my God. Watch your back. Five, four, three, two, right one, and serve. Everybody line up in front of the pass. Let's go. OK, is everybody happy with their dishes? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Good. To judge this challenge, I've invited a very special guest. This chef has two Michelin stars and is the owner and the executive head chef of the spectacular Providence restaurant in Los Angeles. Please welcome Chef Michael Chimarusti. I'm just starstruck. Chef Michael is one of the greatest chefs. I mean, this guy is up there with the big dogs. Good to see you. How are you? Well, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Let's start off with the Battle of the New York Strip, please. Let's go. The dishes will be judged on creativity, taste, presentation, and how well the chefs incorporated their chosen ingredients. Is that New York Strip, Ralph? Yes, chef. You've gone all fancy? Yeah, I went a little Moroccan style. Had couscous, had pistachios, had some beets. Chef Michael can choose to award a point to just one or both chefs. I'm nervous. His dish was very creative. It's out of the box. Chef, the steak is cooked beautifully. But the only flavor I get out of that really is a pistachio. Sort of dominates the whole thing. Uh, Keisha. Yes, Chef. I pan seared my steak, and then I placed it in the oven. And then I had the turnips. I blanched them with my potatoes. I topped it off with the white cheddar and the scallions. That is great. You cooked the steak brilliantly. I'd hate to see what you do, like, with uh, two hours, and <laughs> I bet it would just be amazing. Chef, is it the red team with Keisha or blue team with Ralph? I got to go with Keisha. Thank you, Chef. You could open a restaurant just based on that dish. Thank you, Chef. My insides were dancing. I was having a celebration in my head. It gave me a little boost of energy and confidence all over again. Good job, country. With the women out to an early lead, Rochelle is ready to present her lobster and polenta. It was my first time actually ever cooking lobster. You've never cooked lobster like this before? No, never. You've never cooked lobster before? Wow. I got a really strong feeling we won this one. <laughs> Visually? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you, Chef. It's a good flavor combination for lobster. Shoot. Good Thank job. You, uh, Richard, what is that? Chef, this is a uh, lobster uh, chorizo cream sauce over some pasta. A cream sauce pasta may not be the most current thing to do, but that is flavorful. Thank you. A really good effort um, from both of you. Do you think one has the edge? I think I have to give it to Rochelle on this one. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, well, well. Take that lobster. Get the fuck out of here. I thought my dish was a winner. Uh, unfortunately, I was wrong. I hate losing. See you guys. Let's go. With the red team up by two, the pressure is on Jason to score with his Spanish-infused sea bass. The fish is actually really tasty. As he battles Joy's tangerine and bok choy-accompanied sea bass. Maybe a little bit heavy on the sweetness. OK. I got to go with the blue team. Thank you, chefs. Thank, Thank you very much. All right. With the men now on the board, Gabriel's coriander-crusted chicken. It's a nice dish. Thank you. Is up against Melanie's chicken and glazed parsnips. You've got balance. There's good acidity. Thank you, chef. I'm leaning towards giving them both a point. I agree. Congratulations. Well done. Point each. Thank, Thank you. you, chef. On the red, right. on the blue. Good. With both teams scoring, tight one. The women still have a one-point margin. Next up, ahi tuna, please. Let's go. I thought it was swordfish. Oh, my God. When he said ahi tuna, my heart sunk. I thought it was swordfish. Anton, please. I ended up making a seared tuna. I also received a little bit of pasta with a uh, red wine tangerine sauce. In spite of the fact that it looks like, you know, it's kind of a little all over the map, it's really harmonious. Thank you. Nice. Jessica, what is that? I have a lot of Mediterranean flavors going on. Pepper, crusted tuna, and uh, roasted beets. Why is it overcooked so much? Um, I, I put it in the oven for a little bit too long, chef. Yeah, that's probably something you wouldn't want to do that at all. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck bakes tuna? The flavors are pretty good. Unfortunately, the tuna's overcooked. Chef, 
a red team or blue team? Got to go with the blue team. Blue team. And congratulations. Congratulations. Thank, well thank you very much. Good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Pretty good. Jessica is fucking stupid. So if this is way enough, you didn't know Wow, this is tighter than I expected. A three to three. It all comes down to the battle of the duck. Let's go. Get home, baby. Rockets go. Every time we get in the challenge, it's always down to the end. The girls win. This time, it's our turn. Stop, please. We have a pan-roasted duck breast, olives, with a little bit of chicken stock and uh, some crispy fingerling potatoes. That's a classic combination, duck and olives. So, I mean, you kind of had it a little easy there, I'd say. But it's still yeah. pretty good. Thank you. Sandra, thank you. We have a seared duck breast with Marguerite's uh, spicy style sausage uh, with egg noodles. I think it looks a bit done, but you can tell by eating it that it's not. It's properly cooked, it's tender. It's like butter. Yeah, it's well seasoned. Good job. Well done, Sandra. Thank you, pretty Chef. Pretty good. Why don't you both go stand over there? Chef, it's tied to 3 to 3. Uh, last dish. Are, Are you going to make me call it? Yes, it's your call. <laughs> Red team or blue team? Take your time. That's really tough because these are both really good dishes. We need the win because I'm getting sick and tired of losing shit. Um, I gotta go with the red team. I'm really happy. I'm ecstatic, and they they love my dish. Michael, as Thank always, a pleasure. Good to see you. Sir. Thank God we won because I knew my ass was gonna get chewed the fuck out for that tuna. Ladies, well done. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you, chef. All of you are headed down the coast to the scenic, breathtaking Terranea Resort, where you are going to be treated to the most amazing meal overlooking the ocean. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> After that, all of you have got a very private, exclusive beach volleyball lesson with three-time Olympic champion, Kerry Walsh Jennings. Oh, yes. <laughs> I yes. love her. Ladies, head upstairs, get changed. <laughs> Shave our legs. <laughs> Your rides are waiting out front. Congratulations. Thank you, Cheryl. Wow. <laughs> Ladies, I'm we're ready for a fabulous day. Men, each and every one of you will be showing your appreciation to some very important people here in House Kitchen. The wait staff. They have had to deal with some very, very unhappy diners. So, the six of you will personally make it up to them by doing the chores for all 22 servers. Head up to the dorms. God, God damn it! Hell yeah! I'm so excited. I'm going to a private beach. My girls are on a roll. We're kicking ass. And it just feels so good. Yeah! So, you're going to have to steam all the service shirts. You're going to have to iron the servants' aprons as well as polishing shoes. Spit shine? Yeah, you may spit, yeah. But will you have enough spit to do all my shoes? I have enough spit for everything. I hope you will. Yes. You sweep the crumbs of the chairs, wipe down the paws. Dust the shelves. You're going to have to do the stemware. Blah, 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 blah. He just keeps going on and on. You're going to have the cutlery, clean the fire doors, clean the HK fountain. This completely sucks. OK, let's get cracking. Spit clean, idiot. Oh, my god. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Oh, mm. Yum. Oh, dolphin. Oh, right there, right there. Another fabulous challenge win, another fabulous day out here in sunny California. Look at this. Ooh. Sorry, blue team. We're steamrolling you. They're just not as good as we are. <laughs> While the women laugh over steamrolling the guys, back in Hell's Kitchen, the men are doing some steaming of their own. Ah, fucking thing's hot. With the steamer? Fuck. Well, it is steam. Oh, blow it out your ass. Rich, I love you. Oops. You know, Rich is limping around a lot. He's got bad knees. My concern is this ain't an office job. We're not sitting behind a desk playing on a computer. Oh, Lord. I run a major country club. I run over 25 cooks and a couple sous chefs. Steaming shirts, ironing pants, shiny shoes. I'm too old. I got time for that kind of bullshit. Welcome to hell. Pretty much. 
<laughs> what an honor it is to meet you. Thank oh you. God. Oh my God. Carrie Walsh. I've been a fan, actually, for a while. It's pretty good winning a challenge. Well, let's have some fun, yeah? Awesome. Yay! Yay. Then step into it. Oh, ow. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> okay, lift it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. Almost. Playing volleyball, it was hard. What? I didn't give up even when I did mess up. I just waited on the next ball and tried to give it my best. Set it up. Oh. Oh. And I made Joy eat the dust. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Do you guys want to see my gold medal? Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. For me, what helps, like I always wear gold, like leading up to London, I always had my eye on the prize. I had things around me to remind me of what I was going for. And so I know you guys are on this gnarly trip right now. You guys are fighting, struggling. So surround yourselves by positivity and by your gold medal. Whatever that is you want to attain, keep reminding yourself, because I know it's not easy. I will always remember the moment just holding that gold medal and meeting a true champion. It's just encouragement and like, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, You're welcome. It sucks, you know what I mean? It's, this is like our sixth challenge that we've lost and it seems like every time we see a little light, you know, the tunnel just gets farther and farther and farther away. <laughs> Oops. After an exhausting afternoon of doing the chores of the front of the house staff, the men collapse while the women recover from a day at a spectacular resort. It's all right, we'll wake up. We don't have much of a choice. A uh, day in the sun, playing a little volleyball. It's a huge lunch with mimosas. I'm, I'm a little sleepy. Hello, it's Jessica. Jessica, it's Gordon. Oh, hey, Gordon, how are you? Whoa. Can you get everybody to meet me down in the dining room immediately, please? Absolutely, Chef. Oh, Chef Ramsay. I just called him Gordon. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys are buddies. Like, he calls you all the time. Yeah, hey. Gordon. We have to go into the kitchen. Let's go, guys. <sighs> Let's go, guys. We are at the halfway point here in Hell's Kitchen. So I thought it was important to do some performance evaluations, not as a team, but just you and I together. What? One on one. Oh, you start getting nervous. You're like, I was not expecting that at all. Head back to the dorms. I'll call you when I'm ready. I'm still tired, but it actually woke me up because I was always nervous when somebody was going up to school to get my report card. You never know what kind of dirt the teacher is going to drop on you. Damn, shit just got real. Yes! I'm so excited. For what? Are you kidding me? An evaluation? This is great. I'm so excited. This is what I wanted. I was the only one that was completely pumped, psyched, ready for it. And anything they could give me, I will soak it in like a sponge. <laughs> Number one. First. This is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. It's Gordon again. Could you um, ask Sandra to come straight up to my office, please? Of course. Immediately. Thank yes, you. Yes, bye. Uh, Chef Ramsay would like to see Sandra. Me. Good luck. I'm shitting bricks right now. You know, he's like a dog that sniffs fear. And I'm afraid it's going to be like, step into my office, you're fired type of deal. So I just have to hope for the best. Come in, Sandra. Hello, Chef. Sit down. How are you? Yes, yeah, Chef. Right. How are you feeling? Feel good and nervous. <laughs> How do you think you're doing? Um, I think I could do a little bit better. I've let simple mistakes just slip right through my fingers when I've had a solid service. Today, that dish was amazing. Thank you. I mean, really amazing. And then when you have your down moments, it is literally way down. And then sometimes I struggle to see the fight back because you give off the impression that you've, you've given up. You show that you don't care. So my big question to you is, do you care? 
Absolutely, 100% I care. I really care. I haven't given up on you, but sometimes you give me the impression that you've given up. What I want to see is more of a fight back. Fight back. I will, I Wait. promise. <laughs> Jessica again. Could you ask Gabriel to head to my office? Of course. Gabriel? Um, how do you think you're doing? Because I've got two Gabriels, you know, one that's inconsistent and one that's about to sort of bloom and become a solid individual in this competition. I, I think it was just, you know, all the nerves just going crazy. I think I'm starting to improve. Cook with your eyes. You'll be surprised at what you learn and what other people are doing. Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank okay. you. You take advice from Chef Ramsay. I don't give a shit if he tells you how to wipe your ass. He might know how to do it a little bit better. Hello? Hi, Jessica. Could you ask uh, Joy to come to my office, please? Of course. Joy. Very few cooks hold that level of arrogance because they haven't got the talent to back it up. You've got the talent. Believe in yourself. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Good. Hello? Hello. This is Jessica. I always wanted a phone call from Chef Ramsay. <laughs> so I kept on answering the phone. Nobody else wanted to answer the phone, so I was like, all right, why not? I always wanted to talk to Gordon Ramsay on the phone, so. <laughs> Jessica's kind of fucking crazy. Jessica again. She's sitting by the phone, jumping to answer that thing as fast as possible. Ooh. Hello? She's a little bit nuts. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> I'm watching to see who learns the most, who's making the fastest progress. Maybe you're a late bloomer. Start believing in yourself. You're too reserved. I want to see you emerge as a leader. Make sense? Yes, it does. Um, I didn't think you were going to make it past the first couple of services. However, you are an actual, let me tell you. <laughs> to hear that from Chef Ramsay, like, I almost cried. That's what I needed to hear. Your potential is huge. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Do you think you're the best chef in the booting? I think I'm the best chef in the blue team, so yes. Show it. We haven't got long. Dude, that's worth every, every single shit that has gone on. I feel fucking great now. Fucking glad, dude. That was terrible. <laughs> Are you a Ghana chef or a head chef? I feel stronger every day, so I'm hoping to show you that I'm a head chef. Honestly, you still have those little areas of inconsistency for me, okay? Express yourself more. I want that character coming out. OK. I know what you're capable of doing. You're better from what I've seen. I just don't know why. I just haven't fucking ripped it out of me yet. Well, time is now, big boy. Hello? Can you get your ass in my office, please? Absolutely. Me. Get the fuck out <laughs> of here, really? Yes. <laughs> you seem to be on this downward spiral. Um, why is that? I panic because I get so lost uh, in dinner service that I freeze up. You've got to stay strong. Yes, chef. What have you got that I haven't seen yet? One thing about me, I become the executive chef. It's not to make the restaurant famous and great because your name's on there. It's to make me famous and great because I'm the one who got it there. <laughs> so here's a, a question for you. Who's the weakest in the blue team? Scott is the weakest chef, in my opinion, only because his sense of flavor combinations just aren't quite there. Interesting. I think the weakest right now for me, honestly, is Jessica. Mm -hmm. She spaces out constantly. You know, honestly, I'm going to say probably Rich. Rich. To keep up on the long run, I think, is going to be a hurdle for him. I do feel like it's Jessica. I would say Scott. Probably Acacia. Um, Richard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, chef. I felt amazing after talking to him. I felt refreshed, rejuvenated, and just ready to go. That was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it was good, huh? After concluding the performance evaluations, Chef Ramsay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Summons all the chefs to the dining room once again for an important announcement. OK, something occurred to me throughout today's evaluations. Some of you do not have the support of your team. I ask each and every one of you, who is the weakest chef in your kitchen? Now, I've decided to do something that I've never done before in the history of Hell's Kitchen. 
the lowest ranking chef in the red team and the lowest ranking chef in the blue team will be competing against each other. And the loser of this challenge will be going home. Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. That sucks. What? Out of nowhere. I never thought we were going to have elimination tonight. The lowest ranking chef in the blue team is Richard. I'm very sure I'm not the weakest chef on my team. I'm pissed off because I think it's a little bullshit, but whatever. And the lowest ranking chef in the red team was Jessica. They are just a bunch of jerks. I know that my team doesn't have faith in me, but I'm about to prove them wrong. Jessica and Richard, I'm going to give both of you a chance to prove to your team how worthy you are. Clear? Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. Good. You've both got 30 minutes to perfect three dishes from our menu. Lobster risotto, our scallop dish, and our halibut. And as I told you, the loser will be going home. Your 30 minutes starts now. Let's go, Richard. Go, Jessica. You got this, Jessica. Jessica. Come on, Jessica. In the Cook for Your Life Challenge, each chef will get just one portion of each recipe's ingredients as they attempt to perfectly cook three dishes from the Hell's Kitchen menu. Yeah. Come on, Rich. Go, Rich. Teammates can encourage, but are not allowed to give specific direction to Jessica and Richard. This is it. For one of you, your last 30 minutes in Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. You got it, girl, Jess. You're doing good, Jess. Yeah, keep rocking it. You're doing good. I'm fired up and I'm ready. The risotto, I am confident about. The scallops, I've mastered. The halibut, I've cooked it before and I know what to look for. I got this. I can do this. Keep it up, baby. Keep it up. Keep it up. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You know you got it. Find a groove, boo. Knock this out, Rich. You got this. There you go, Rich. There you go. Let it sit nice. I'm not scared. Because I'm here, and I'm going to be here to stay. So if you underestimate me, you're a damn fool. Because you know what? You're going to see who's standing at the end. Just stay focused. It's like making love, dude. Don't turn her over until she's ready. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just under 15 minutes to go. Halfway. You got Jess. You can do it. Relax a little bit. Relax a little bit and slow your roll. When I saw her hit it with the pepper, it's like, girl, get it together. She's a pepper in soda. Never put anything black into something that's supposed to be white. It's hard standing here watching. Come on, guys, give us some support, please. You got it, Rich. You're good. You know what you're doing. We've been doing this for 200 years. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> I'm older, people are going to question your stamina. But I bring more energy than some of these younger guys do. I'm in the kitchen all day long. I'm on my feet all day long. It don't bother me. I live for that shit. There you go, pull it. That's from more nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sexy, baby. We got Jess. Think through each dish. You can do it. The wine? Hey, wine? hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. No, 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 no. We didn't say nothing. So, worry about blue. Come on, Jess. I know you can pull this dude. Be calm, Rich. Think everything through. Stay focused. Don't rush anything. There you go, Rich. There you go, Rich. I've never worked the app station yet, but whatever. I mean, it's a risotto. If I can't make a risotto, then I don't belong here. Nice and creamy, nice and creamy. It looked like he dropped his risotto a little too soon. That was my one area of concern, and that could be an issue. Come on, baby. Come on now. Taste everything, Richard. Yes, yeah, chef. Yeah, I'm cooking it for the last 20 minutes. Well, it might be overcooked. You got it. Come on, push. Come on, Jessica. Focus. Believe in yourself. You know it. This is Aiden. I like. I want to run in there and fucking help her now. You want to just jump over the pass and bail your teammate out, but you can't. Oh my God. What is she doing? Ooh. ooh. Oh, mm. holy shit. That was a dire mistake. This is not good. Come on, Jess. You got the kids there right now. Come on, Jess, keep it up, keep Pace it up. Pace yourself. I had an idea that sparked in my head. I have to put a new toast point on. I know I could do this. 
because I am a fighter and a winner. You get it, yes. you know it. Just concentrate, you'll be fine. Two and a half minutes to go. Come there on, you Rich. go, Rich. That's my boy. That's our boy. That's our boy. boy. Start thinking about plating. Think about the menu, think what goes on the plate. Just go through it, you can think do it. Think about your components. Oh yeah, you do is for your plate. Let's go. Richard is definitely a good chef, but sometimes the presentation is just horrible. Let's Come on, right. let's go. Come now, on, get a move on. Rich has plated one dish. Let's go, Jessica. Come on, get in there. Oh, you girl. got this. Get in there. One minute to go. You got it, baby. Hey, I hey. need you. Go, Rich. All right, Rich. Get up and then get right. 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 up. Go. Let's go. You're a rock. You ain't finna break now. Go. 20 Push. seconds to go. Come on, move it. Yes. 20 seconds. Yes. You can do yes. that. Let's go, Rich. Baby, come on. Come on, Rich. 10 seconds to go. Hurry up. Eight, Push. seven, six, go. five. Four, go, Rich. three, two, it, baby. That's it, Rich. one, and stop. <laughs> Guys, line up, please. Thank you. I am shaking. I'm freaking out. I want this so bad. I don't want to go home. This is my opportunity of a lifetime. My pride, my ego, my abilities is what's riding on this. And I want to prove to Chef Ramsay that I'm not the weakest chef. OK, ladies first. Jessica. Hey, chef. Come on, Jess, you got this. I'm just so nervous, but I got to get my head on straight. I got to focus and show Chef Ramsay that I'm still confident enough with my dishes. Scallops cook beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Really nice. Nice color. Onions slightly over crisp. However, uh, the most important part, puree the scallops. You nailed it. Well done. I'm just really pumped up right well now. I really feel like I got this. Risotto. Why is it piled high? Uh, I started cooking it too soon, Chef. Well, I did notice her risotto was up very high still, and Chef Ramsay likes it a little, little looser than that. Rich's risotto is definitely going to be better than hers. Risotto is slightly too dense and 30 seconds overcooked. OK, Chef. Is that a toothpick? Yes, it is, Chef. I'm sorry, Chef. It's like a top stand at the table. It's got a skirt in it. Really? You don't make a mistake like that. I mean, never, ever. I saw a double crust go on there. What was that? I flipped the fish over to check my temperature, and the first crust slid right off. Fish seasoned beautifully. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Very good job indeed. Thank you. Way to go, James. Oh, my god. I'm so relieved. I'm going to win. I'm going to so fucking win. Rich, let's go, please. Come on, Come on Rich. Nice sear on the scallops. The scallops cooked beautifully. And that parsley in there just lifts it as well. Nice. Scallops nailed. Risotto. What's the first thing you taste there? First thing just comes straight into your mouth. Cheese, chef. And what's the risotto? Lobster risotto, chef. So the rice is overcooked by about a minute, and it's turned almost to like a rice pudding. Chef Ramsay is saying some negative things about Richard's dishes. Please, please, God. I think that his time is up. Hell of it. Crust is beautifully done. Mm. Where's the heat coming from? A little red pepper flake, chef. A little bit too overpowering. But the sauce is delicious. Thank you, chef. Good job. Well Thank done. You, chef. Good job, Rich. Very difficult, let me tell you. Um, Jessica. Yes, chef. Highs and lows across your three dishes. But to get those three dishes out there within that time, working on your own, really good job. Thank you, Chef. I feel like I deserve to be here because I cook with the most amount of passion as possible. I really think it's in the bag. Richard. Yes, Chef. Mistakes I didn't expect, but collectively, really good job. Thank you, Chef. I knew my halibut was perfect. I knew my scallops were seared perfect. So I was just hoping that those two perfect dishes were enough to get me by. This is a very, very difficult decision based on the three dishes. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen Come on, baby. is next time on Hell's Kitchen. Can you help me? When one chef is more concerned with feeding herself. Hello, is anybody home? Than feeding her diners. It'd be nice to get some food.
Why are you stopping your face? I'm fucking dying here. Will it force Chef Ramsay to do the unthinkable? You have left me no freaking choice. And when one chef falls so far behind. Walk. Dude, you can't walk. Oh, is this a trip to not done? Will faking an illness score him sympathy? I'm getting sick. I can't even walk right now. It's called cracking under pressure. Or will the amateur theatrics? I feel I'm ready to die. I'm like seeing triple. I can carry most of the weight, man. Hey, you! Take down one of his teammates. Get out! What? Find out next time on a butt-busting episode. Baby! Oh! Uh, fuck, man. Of Hell's Kitchen.